What's up, Swanky Disc Golf fam? Today we have the long-awaited Trash Panda Intercore. I am so excited about this disc. Uh, some of you guys may know Trash Panda has had a few cameos on the channel starting all the way back over a year ago now, I think. We had him for our Trick Shots for Charity Challenge. So in my trick shot, I called in reinforcements for my buddy Robbie C. Disc Golf. I'm using my recycled prototype that I made in my garage, and this is the world's longest ace from Colorado to Alabama. which no one watched, but it was a ton of fun. Uh, we raised over $1,000 for charity, and we've been longtime fans of Jesse over at Trash Panda, watching his progress. It is so cool to see these come to fruition. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the first 100% fully recycled disc golf disc. Uh, we're gonna give you our thoughts, and we're gonna try our best to be <laughs> unbiased. To start off with how it feels, uh, the thing that surprises me the most is it looked from the videos I've seen I thought it was gonna be a little bit stiffer, but it's actually very soft I wouldn't call it gummy per se, but it's pretty flexible. The plastic is soft. The rim is a little bit more firm It feels fantastic like that is the amount of give that I like uh, When I'm pressing my thumb against the disc feels great. Obviously, there's no stamp if You don't know uh, foil is one of the most wasteful parts in the disc making process. One of my favorite parts about what he does here uh, is since there's no stamp, it's like how do you know, how can I show off to my friends that I'm an OG and got the first run? He has this little dial here that tells you the date that it was made. So it says 22 in the middle, that's the year. And then it has an arrow pointing to the month. So this is made October of 2022. Uh, and I think that's a really cool way to implement not having a stamp. The bottom of this disc is super cool. We have two of them. They're both 168 grams. Uh, it feels like it could be a three speed, maybe a four speed. I like the depth of the rim. I like the give in the plastic. Let's give it a few rips and see how it flies. All right, so we're just starting off in an open field. I'm gonna try and throw it flat to see how it reacts. Emphasis on try. Flew very straight. <laughs> All right, let's try rip them on a little hyzer, see if they uh, flip to flat. So far, they feel really good. Uh, I think I would say three speed, maybe even like a 3.5 kind of deal. I don't know, uh, but they have amazing glide for putters. They feel good. Standing right in front of it. <laughs> yeah, real good glide. I like that a lot. Do you want me to say anything? I mean, okay. you can say how you think they feel. Yeah. They feel great. Putters that glide are my favorite. <laughs> yeah. That's so nice. Great throw. All right, we're going to range this uh, shot from Josiah. We got it at 302.3. Uh, so right at 300 feet for a three-speed, four-speed. Uh, it's open field, of course, but the glide is is nice. Uh, we're down south in Georgia, so it's probably a little bit flippier than it would be up in Colorado, but the, the glide on this thing is really, really nice. It has just enough stability to be one that you can hyzer flip to flat and it's not gonna just burn the other way. Let's try throwing it on some Anheuser and forehand lines. See how it, see how it holds there. Yeah. Nice. That looks so good. Ooh. I think I'd be good for some shots in the woods. Yeah. If you put, if you get the angle control on it, it's a very workable disc. You can put as much hyzer on it as you want, get it to turn over or get it to hold the hyzer. I like the stability on it. All right, we're gonna try the couple holes here with the inner core. Hole one is 210 feet, dead straight, right across the water. Let's give it a rip. Try not to hit the baby. <laughs> Or the dogs. Oh, imagine if it went in. <laughs> I like that really nice slow landing coming in. Feels great. Do it one time. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Nice. 
All right, this is also a great opportunity to see how it does putting. See how it feels as a putting putter. Feels incredible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it on one more hole. Uh, 255 to the pin. It's actually, it looks downhill, but it's kind of dead flat because it goes downhill, uphill. There's a little bit of a ceiling, so this will really test how well it will push and keep pushing. It's hard to tell that there's a ceiling because it's the fall, but there's a bunch of dead branches right there. <laughs> That at least should have looked good on camera. <laughs> a little bit short, but not a bad shot. Let's see how it putts again. Hopefully we make this first try. All right, guys, final thoughts. They feel amazing. I'm gonna try and be unbiased, uh, but there are so many pros to this disc. Uh, they're nice and soft. They're not too soft though. If we had to put flight numbers on them, I think we're giving them a 3 speed, maybe a cheeky MVP decimal system 3.5 speed. We're going to give it a 4 glide, I think, uh, because they do just push. Even on hyzer or flying straight, they push really well. Uh, even putting, it felt great. I think that's another reason to give it the 3 speed, uh, because they feel like good putting putters. And I haven't picked up many 4 speeds that I felt like, okay, yeah, I'd putt with this and feel good about it. Um, so three, four, zero for the turn. It's just so straight flying. And then maybe a one for the uh, fade, because when I think zero, zero, I think more flippy discs than this. Uh, and these ones are slightly flippy, but they hold whatever line, like you saw it, it will pan out really well. Or if you throw it on just baby hyzer, it'll fly super straight. Uh, great, great discs. If I had to say one con, to be unbiased, they're a little bit expensive, $22. But the reason for that price is that you're supporting Jesse from Trash Panda. You're supporting uh, sustainable, fully recycled discs for the first time. And so you can assume that as his uh, manufacturing continues to grow, that the price will come down on those. And by all means, it is super worth, super 100% worth 22 to all 22 US dollars. We will link Jesse's website down below. I believe it's trashpandadiscgolf.com. Go check it out. These are available now. Definitely recommend picking one up. Big shout out to Jesse from Trash Panda for sending us this. We're absolutely huge fans of his channel. I've mentioned it before. I think we're gonna give this our first ever uh, double swanky seal of approval because they're just amazing. They're that good. Uh, this is the this is the bar <laughs> that you have to reach to get a double swanky seal of approval. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, be sure to pick one of these up if you can, and we will see you in the next one. Stay swanky. Yeah.